I want to show you how shady this really is. The 2008 official bailout, officially, TARP, which started the Tea Party because we were so outraged that the government would spend $700 billion on TARP. We thought that was crazy. Remember that number. $700 billion, your money, they just gave it to the banks. We were outraged. And then we had to spend another 750, you know, on infrastructure, 750 billion. So about 1.5 trillion dollars was spent just on these two programs. That was the Tea Party. Then the bank said, the Fed, well, all those banks, remember those banks we showed you, the 12? They aren't, they are struggling because they made some. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our own money, they print it, and we're just going to, we're going to buy all those bad assets for $3.5 trillion. So what they told us at the time that I recorded that was that they had injected $5 trillion into the money supply. Okay. That's what they told us. Here's the problem. Um, that's a lie. All of that is a lie. Okay? The problem is, again, the official number. It's not $5 trillion. A little misleading. The numbers have just been foiled by an independent group. The Fed fought with them all the way to the Supreme Court. We were never supposed to know the truth. These are sealed for two years. But then, then after the two years, the Fed was like, no, we got to seal these for 10 years. Okay, so we haven't known this since 2010. We had no access. These are the 2010 numbers they're just coming out with. We want to thank the Levy Economics Institute. They published these findings. They are the ones who got them released. Between 2008 and 2010, it wasn't this. No. No, they bailed things out a little differently. For instance, they gave Bank of America uh, $1.3 uh, trillion. Then Merrill Lynch, love Merrill Lynch, they got $1.9 trillion. Morgan Stanley, they got $2.0 trillion. And Citibank... 2.5 trillion dollars. Now, I'm not very good at math, but I think those add up to more than this. And actually, no matter how bad of math I am, I'm going to add up and show you what the real number is. It's not 5 trillion. Twenty. Nine trillion dollars, a little more than the official five trillion that we've all been force fed. Now, if you think, you know, you're upset now, Citigroup got all of this, Merrill Lynch, all of it. OK, that's mad. That's maddening, right? But did you know that they inflated our money, which is causing your inflation, and they didn't just give it to the banks of the U.S.? No, no, no. We were printing and loaning money out to banks all over the world. We gave billions to Scotland and to Germany and Switzerland and the UK and France and Belgium. We were never meant to know any of this. It was supposed to be a secret. At $2.5 trillion, the Fed effectively nationalized Citibank. It's also interesting, Citi, because... City co-owns the New York Fed. Wait a minute. So it's like one hand reaching in, grabbing $2.5 trillion, putting it on the other hand, and that hand puts it into this pocket. That's what's happening. It's public-private partnerships all endorsed by the government. 21st century fascism with you paying the price. Now... This is horribly corrupt, but this is what they want for the entire system with the Great Reset. But now I've got some really bad news because this was just in 2010. OK, uh, go this way. Uh, what's what's really interesting here is what's happening lately, because do you remember it was September 2019? 
before anything was going on with COVID. And I was on this program and I was like, hey, something's wrong because they're they're loaning half a trillion dollars loan to the banks per week. It started the first 24 hours. It was $50 billion. Hey, if banks are short, we'll, we'll loan you $50 billion. And you got to pay it back within 24. And then it was, you can hold it for a week. And then it was three months. Now I don't even know if there's a time limit. It started at 50 billion, but the last I heard, we were doing $500 billion a week. Okay, that that's was September. This is before the coronavirus, and I said something big is coming. What is what's wrong here? Okay, well let me just let me just show you what's wrong. Because it, it, I mean, if you ever wondered any of that cash directed to foreign banks, oh, the two-year threshold gone by, information just released, um, and we know now where the Fed was sending all of this money. Um, let's go to 3.7. Uh, that went to our good friends in Japan. Don't you love that? 1.5 went to the UK. Uh, 1.4 went to yeah, Germans. So we spent, we, we gave more. We gave more to the Japanese, the United Kingdom and the Germany than we did our own system. Uh, I mean, officially, <laughs> officially, unofficially, not even close. We are not just collapsing our own system with this crap. We are spreading inflation on a global scale. Another prediction of mine from about 2007, the world will hate us. We have spent trillions and sent trillions to Japan. What's causing all this inflation? Ah, uh, hello. We decided, hey. Is anybody having a problem with inflation? Yep, Japan, two-year high. Um, you know, the 1.5 trillion to the UK, highest inflation in 30 years, so they're on our track. Uh, and Germany, oh, they, you know, Germans love inflation. Uh, thank you very much, Fed. They're up 24%, highest since World War II. Well, who was involved in World War II? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All of this predates any of the massive amounts of COVID relief spending. As of now, the official numbers for that are $10 trillion. But they're not reporting the lending from the Fed. Those numbers aren't going to be released for another two years. Wait for it. Maybe we won't even find out. Okay? But let's speculate. Let's just... Let's just use what we know they've been saying. We know they've been saying it was a trip first a half trillion. Now it's a trillion dollars a week that they were pumping into all of those banks. OK. So let's just do the math from April 2020 to now has been uh, 95 weeks since April. So, again, not good at math. That's $95 trillion. Now, I don't know if that number's true, but it no longer sounds crazy to me because they lied to us about $5 trillion, and we now know officially it was $30 trillion. And that was without the global pandemic. Modern monetary theory is happening right now. So what happens? Well, you remember that little thing where I got on the lift? and we got up? That was about where that balloon is. Let me just show you how far we've taken it from there. Uh, go ahead, lift the, lift the bar up. It's just a little bit, we've inflated the money. If this were the graph that was showing you how much that hockey stick is going up, okay? It's going up a, a ways. Now, I can't show you the actual graph um, still got a ways to go. Wow, look at that up there, way up there, way past the lighting grid. That's now passing the third floor. We're headed towards the fourth floor of the studio. I, uh, well, I can't show you, you know, any, any, more, uh, any more of this hockey stick, because the building is only four stories tall. But it's worse than this.